Good evening, Rocky Gap High School, and welcome to WGAP. I'm your host, Kelly Morris, alongside my co-host, Katie Tiller. Can you believe it's already the new year? I can't. So what's your new year's resolution? Well, I sort of already ruined mine the first day. What's yours? <laughs> well, I haven't made mine yet. But let's go to the students of Rocky Gap to see what their new year's resolutions are. Over to you, Matthew. Today I had the opportunity to interview some students on their new year's resolution. Here are some of them now. My new year's resolution is to, well, do better in school. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to get in more hunting for this next year. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to do better in English and do better in hunting and fishing. My resolution is to stop forgetting things. Thank you, Matthew. I hope everyone sticks with their New Year's resolutions this year. Me too. Now let's go to Jacob with a portion of the talent show. Sometimes she's taken me for most of an hour with the spelling book. Is all I can stand. Then she say, Don't put your feet up, said Huckleberry. Don't scratch up, Huckleberry. Don't cross your legs, Huckleberry. Sit down. I'm trying to do right. <laughs> oh, then he lit in the cussing. He says, I'd just like to see them with a kind of <laughs> He got to drinking, his liquor started talking. He most always went for the government. And this time he says, You call this a government?
Thank you, Jacob. I didn't know our school had that much talent. Me neither. Now for consolidation. When will it happen? Which teachers will it affect? And however will we afford it? Let's go to Allison and Lauren for the story. An ongoing debate in this county for several decades and the move for consolidation is finally breaking new ground. But just how much debate is needed before a set decision can be made? On December 29th of the previous year, a 3-1 approval was voted for the decision to let the school board apply for financial aid. The county now sits on a waiting list for two $7.5 million literary loans from the Virginia Department of Education. As of right now, no set blueprint or location has been established, but if all goes as planned, we are expected to have a new K-12 of the 2011-2012 school year. We now head over to the man with the plan. 